Punched creator mode. Um, let's see here. Stream manager, there we go. Okay, we are set and ready. Um, welcome. I am using Streamlabs for the first time um, because Twitch Studio does not enjoy amnesia or vice versa um i've played amnesia before um it's been well over 10 years though and i think it's time to go and brave amnesia again and see if we can beat it smart tinder box are hard to come by auto save is disabled and saving your game cost Ooh. okay do we want to do hard that's the real question um being it on normal, but I don't think of her being it on hard though. Yeah, let's give it a try. Okay, here we go. Don't forget, some things mustn't be forgotten. The shadow hunting me. I must hurry. My name is Daniel. I live in London at, at uh, Mayfair. What have I done? This is crazy. Don't forget. Don't forget. I must stop him. Focus. My name is... is I am Daniel. about this game, but I always found it weird that he drank something to make him forget. Okay. A memento has been added to your journal. Click access, press mementos. Follow the liquid trail and find its source. Definitely gonna have to keep my eye out for more tinder boxes and oil. Since the you know difficulty we're on, it's gonna be a lot sketchier. And saving cost tinder boxes. Cool. That's gonna be rough. Like that. <laughs> Holy shit.
Nope. Mm -mm. Don't like that. Is there anything in here for me? Come on. There we go. Oh, I didn't know you could pick up their heads. Search for sources of light. You got it. Old archives. The other children cheered him on, his name voice in a steadily rising pace, urging him to do it. I, am I really doing this? The young boy thought, and he struck his victim with a rock. Nope. A slight headache. I'm full of a slight headache. That's for sure. Why is there no tinder? Don't like that. I wish I could ask how much you remember. I don't know if there will be anything left after I consume this drink. Don't be afraid, Daniel. I can't tell you why, but know this. I choose to forget. Try to find comfort and strength in that fact. There is a purpose. You are my final effort to put things right. God willing, the name Alexander of Brandenburg still invokes bitter anger in you. If not, this will sound horrible. Go to the inner sanctum, find Alexander, and kill him. His body is old and weak, and yours, young and strong. He will be no match for you. One last thing. A shadow is following you. It's a living nightmare, breaking down reality. I have tried everything, and there is no way to fight back. You need to escape it as long as you can. Redeem us both, 
Daniel. Descend into the darkness where Alexander waits and murder him. Your former self, Daniel. Again, why why take something to make you forget? Just to tell yourself to go and kill him. Kill this Daniel fellow. It, it just makes no sense. Let's move all these boxes. Taste of rose lingered in his mouth. Turkish delights. I never actually had a Turkish de t Turkish delight. Okay. Alexander, is it inside the castle? In a manner of speaking, come bring the lamp. You've been to the refinery, have you not? I don't believe I have. Is it connected to the... What did you call it? The inner sanctum. My most precious chamber, Daniel. And it lies well beyond the refinery. In fact, it lies beneath the very stone of Brennenberg. Fabrica Equatoria Refinery. Some sort of organic tissue blocks the path to the refinery. Can it be dissolved? Guess we'll find out. Got it. Some chests you can move the whole chest, and other chests you can only move the lid. Makes no sense. Can I crush these guys? No. Anyway. Well, that's rude. I don't care about what I did. I don't want to do it no more. Felt at the kitchen floor, tears were beginning to well in his eyes as he received the first kick in his stomach. Hazel remained hidden in fear she would too be punished. Recent experiments has taken a toll on many of the less stable ingredients in storage. Some seem uninfected, but others are stained by the fumes and will be difficult to salvage. I shall do what I can and move them to the wine cellar. Okay, so we need to go to the wine cellar. Oh, 
Compounds lack the potency I needed, but I sense I'm close. Calamine and orpiment are given, and the cuprite binds them well. This time I shall attempt aqua regia instead of aqua fortis in hopes that I will produce an even more stable, or even produce a more even solution. The experiment was unsuccessful. The solution is highly acidic and proves impractical to be put to any use except as a detergent. Organic tissue reacts especially violent to the solution and should be handled with the greatest care. I might be able to use the re recipe, but I am losing hope that I will ever find an alchemic solution to my predicament. One day I will return if it wasn't for the thought of you, my love. I wouldn't be able to go on. I, when I find myself doing terrible things, I take comfort in you. As long as I'm able to think of you, and long for a life. Think of you and long for a life together. I know I am better than the others. I weep for them. They lust for power without restraint, where I only crave fair judgment and a safe return. door slammed shut behind him and he knew he would never again see the old tailor at Berkeley Square. Another lone soul in London seemed appropriate somehow. <laughs> Don't like this. that I've played this game before. <laughs> it's been so long. Don't even remember things. 16th of May, 1839. The unflinching African sun has continued to plague our expedition, making it impossible to dig until dusk. 
How Professor Herbert managed to find the location in these vast plains of nothingness remains a mystery to me. When I asked him about the tomb again, he told me about the legend of Tin Hanan, the mother of us all. An interesting story in its own right, but I can't help feeling there's more. Later that evening, we uncovered a passage beneath the dunes leading to a sand-covered stone structure. The professor was confident it was the tomb we sought and ordered the others to clear the way late into the dark, cold night. Tomorrow, I shall lead the men into the ancient structure, hoping to reach the burial chamber. No matter what the professor is keeping from me, the dig should yield something interesting to take back to London and the British Museum. like it. Seventeenth of May, eighteen thirty-nine. My hands tremble as I write. I feel a need to document my tribulation, for I fear that my memory will fail me if I linger. Today, I took some men and ventured into the dark, ancient passage we uncovered. Our torches burned faintly in the murky air as we slowly made our way underground. The men were superstitious and fearful. They argued loudly, and I felt their strange language getting to me. I mustered my strength and yelled at them to continue down the slopes and broken steps. The crudely carved passage confused me. It looked much older than the 4th century structure we had expected. The twisting path emerged into a great antechamber. The walls were lined with statues unlike any I'd ever seen. Despite their unearthly quality, I felt a strange familiarity toward them, which haunts me still. At the far end of the chamber, a great slab of stone sealed off whatever lay ahead. I gave the order to raise it, and as I pushed through the narrow space, the heavy stone suddenly dropped, sealing me inside. I was trapped. And that's when you just say your farewells. To be completely honest. Tinder. Come on.
all. is old and hasn't been tended to for centuries. When the shadow arrives, it won't take long until things start falling apart. We're just buying time anyway. Let's do what we can. There isn't much to be done about the wars. We should reinforce weak structures. The ground will tremble and there's a risk everything will cave in on us, especially downstairs. Here, here, and there. Let's get the servants working on it. toward the enchanting light. It was waiting for me. Enclosed in dark nothingness, I felt myself drawn to the mystic light. I reached out, closing it in my hands. The faint glow escaped my fingers and began to spark brightly and spirit me away, unlocking alien memories of spiraling towers, endless deserts, and impossible geometry. The next thing I can remember is the grating sound of stone being lifted. The voices of the Arabs pulling me to safety. Grasped firmly in my hands was the broken pieces of a most peculiar relic. stops, you'll have to start over. Isn't all this a bit excessive? You can never be too careful, that
Altstadt and Brandenburg Castle 1801, another region rich with lore, is Altstadt deep within the Parisian, Parisian root, root, what, <laughs> root, woods. For centuries there have been stories surrounding the Hamlet and its neighbor's castle, Brandenburg. The quiet forest clad mounds dressed with scattered lakes is as picturesque as can be, albeit the area is haunted by, by the dark. Ask any local and you will hear proof of widespread superstition. All travelers should indulge themselves in such conversations, since it will certainly serve as an exciting entertainment. All of them have their own twists of the tales, on the tales, but there are some motifs that keep reappearing. The gathers. This story reaches all the way back to the time of the Thirty Years' War. It is said that the soldiers who abandoned their duty got lost in the cold, dark woods and were forever damned to roam the grounds. Their bodies wrought by their tainted souls have left them disfigured and empty of essence. Many have cited them over the years and described them as horrid reverence. They move silently through the woods, swaying, shying away from any, be any beholder. They are called gatherers as they seem to follow some ambition to steal living creatures. It is their prey which can be heard struggling deep or inside damp burlap sacks dragged behind them which reveal their presence. What dark scheme do they follow? A visit undone. Heinrich Cornelius uh, Agrippa the well-known erudite visited Aldstadt at the beginning of the 16th century. He resided in the local inn for a fortnight as he looked for remnants of kingdoms past. During his stay, all the prominent members of society paid notice, and he was mentioned in many records of one, in many records of the time. One day, he went to investigate a burrow in the northwestern glades, only to never be seen again. Heinrich is known to have passed away in Grenlobe some 10 years later. He dismissed the notion of ever visiting Aldstadt, which makes me one, which makes you wonder what really happened. Who was the mysterious man who visited the sleepy hamlet in the woods, and what happened to him? The immortal Baron. The Baron of Brandenburg lives a reclusive life with his family at his castle nearby, nearby Aldstadt. And like most of noble birth, rumors are inherited alongside with the title. Researching the history reveals little before the castle was consumed by fire in the late, teen, late 16th century. It was rebuilt by Alexander, a nobleman in the Rhinelands, claiming the role as protector of the per per Perugian state. Alexander helped the region flourish and remained popular throughout his presumed lifetime. The family has always been secretive when it comes to lineage and heritage, therefore the birth and death of Alexander and his offspring has never been fully recorded. This has fed the idea that the Baron is in fact one of the same who came from the West over 300 years ago, lived through the time of occupation, and joined a coveted order of Black Eagle of the Black Eagle along with its leaders of this country. A lot of information, like three pages. Regarding closing of the wine cellar, Wilhelm and his fools have endangered my research long enough with their absent-minded handling of the human vessels. The sheriff is keeping a watchful eye on the forest and is killing my trusty servants. It is just a matter of time until they follow the trail up to Brennan the trail to Brennenburg. I need to lock Wilhelm and his men up to avoid further investigation from the public. The wine cellar, therefore, will be sealed off until the matter has been handled. Either the king's men leave or they will starve. Whatever comes first, they can rob for all I care. Maybe I will feed them some wine. It would be, it would in a sense solve both of my problems. Well, it's 
one way to deal with these problems, locking people away. <sighs> okay. fluttering at the moment. What the fuck? Sang gave way to his tired body as he fell from the camel's back. He felt the wind gently sweep across his face and his dry, crusted lips. <laughs> it's fine, everyone's fine. It's fine! Not fine. <laughs> Let's get into this damn wine cellar. What do you mean? Oh. The stone slab looked like a safety measure. It wasn't meant to be moved ever again. standing in darkness. It's not my fault the thing freaking hit me. I can't control that. Okay, we will use a tinder. I 
I remember this level, but I've never, like, seen if there was, like, this... I've never seen if there was, like, any, uh, Tinder. I tried to ever get up to the top here. I don't fucking like that. Last words. My name is Wilhelm House of Garrick. These are my final words, my confession and testament. Two years ago, I was summoned to Castle Brandenburg. As most of the uh, er, top, <laughs> aristocracy, I was curious about what the supposed knight of the order could want from me and accepted the invitation. The Baron was friendly and offered me a proposition. It dawned on me that the nature of the contract was sordid and the reason I was chosen was because of my follies. The follies of my past and not the honors i've been awarded during my time as a soldier i was to kidnap healthy humans upon his slightest whim and do so without asking questions in return he would attest to my character at the royal court advancing my position within noble society i would like to claim that i struggled with my decision but it came swiftly and i accepted it wholeheartedly i accepted wholeheartedly ever since that day i've brought men women and children to brennenberg i can't remember the numbers but there were many perhaps even a hundred none of whom were ever seen or heard from again. Tonight, the Baron invited, invited me and my men down to the wine cellar to celebrate our work. I was suspicious as we descended the stairs, but he insisted and joined us in a toast. The wine tasted fine, my men drank without restraint. So begins the punishment of our sins. The Baron locked us up and returned upstairs. Forgive me for what I have done. I was weak and fell into his diabolical ways. My men are screaming. Their skin has been pierced by their own tangled bones. I feel my insides revolt against their God-given nature. My blood has begun to pour from my eyes, and I can no longer... Imagine dying that way.
sounds horrific. <laughs> I need more oil. Use all my tinder boxes either. Oh, guys, it's gonna be rough. Where's the autosave? <gasps> I did all that work for nothing. Oh my god. No! No! Oh, that, that pisses me off. know what to do now. <laughs> well, I guess we just restart and I guess I'll just go on normal. I'm just going to be a baby and do normal because I didn't realize, I don't know what I was thinking. No auto saves. Well, normal it is, I guess, folks. Normal it is. Don't forget. Some things must be forgotten. Well, the shadow hunting me. I must. Hurry. I guess I can just kind of run through Daniel, everything up until I'm in London. At, at, um, we get to where we were. What have I done? This is crazy. Don't forget. Forget. I guess I'm just not cut out for focus. hard difficulty on this My game. Name is, is I am Daniel. That is just so truly upsetting. <laughs> So upsetting. It's now all the way back here, and I'm just gonna have to go with normal. I know I've said that like six times. It's just, it's just so upsetting. <sighs> ah, well, let's go find everything. And there are gonna be a lot more tinder boxes and oil. I'm not freaking on hard difficulty because I'm not freaking cut out for it. I know I shouldn't be this upset. I can just throw shit.
I haven't only found like six times, like five more tinder boxes than last time. So, you know. Stop your running. Whoever that is. How can I keep walking when I'm completely on the ground? I'm a fast crawler, folks. Fast crawler. Is there anything over here? There's two tinder boxes here. I don't know if there was one last time, was there? Is there any tinder in here? That's the question for the ages. No box. I got him for fail. Who knew this much tinder existed in these levels? Nobody. I actually don't think I got that one during our other playthrough. Um, so we, I don't, I want to say I moved those boxes, but I don't remember. I'm still hella upset though. Did I even look back here in my last one? I don't know. through all this again and... Alexander, is it inside the castle? In a manner of speaking, come, bring the lamp. You've been to the refinery, have you not? I don't believe I have. Is it connected to the... What did you call it? The inner sanctum. My most precious chamber, Daniel. And it lies well beyond the refinery. In fact, it lies beneath the very stone of Brennenberg. It 
lies beneath the very stone of bread. Let's get all the let's get all of our quests. Gotta be careful when I go back to that one spot because I guess technically while I'm in there, because I think I think there's a monster in there. I don't remember though, so I can't just run around like I am right now. Otherwise, I will for sure die. Fortis did not do the job. Okay, so we got everything we needed down there. I know I need those later, but I just wanted to see if there's any tinder oil underneath. Actually, this tinder could have potentially been there, and I just missed it. Actually, don't know. I guess maybe some people do. You never know. You know, you think about. Ooh! I did not get this contract right. right. I hereby offer my full attention to the services of Alexander Baron. Baron of Brandenburg, this contract will reign for a total of three years when my freedom shall return to me. In addition, Alexander, Baron of Brandenburg, is to recommend my services at the Perugian Royal Court and within the Sanctum of the Order of the Black Eagle. 
may no man break this seal. I missed that last time. My fear. Of my dad. I was I was trapped. Oh. I do want you. Thank you. Why is it? Oh. Probably shut because of those. I want to use your difficulty. It'd make no sense for a door to randomly close on this difficulty, but not... But not the normal difficulty. Or hard difficulty. No sense. At all. For all I know, I'm not fine. I took it so slow last time that it could be when I come in this time. I just... No, I never. I think not all get paid in. It does. Like I took my sweet ass time last time coming into this area. But for all I know, the monster's just chilling right there. It's Ready to call it chaos. Oh, here's where we have our map flashback to Algeria. 17th of May, 1839. After pounding the unforgiving stone wall for what seemed like an eternity, I realized it was hopeless. I was trapped. I fell to the ground, gasping for air, trying to focus. That's when I saw a faint blue shimmer. My weakened body was heavy to carry, but I managed to push myself toward the enchanting light. It was waiting for me. Enclosed in dark nothingness, I felt myself drawn to the mystic light. I reached out, closing it in my hands. Out. The faint glow escaped my fingers and began to spark brightly and spirit me away, unlocking alien memories of spiraling towers, endless deserts, and impossible geometry. geometry. The next thing I can remember is the grating sound of stone being lifted, the voices of the Arabs pulling me to safety. Grasped firmly in my hands was the broken pieces of a most peculiar relic. old and hasn't been tended to for centuries. When the shadow arrives, it won't take long until things start falling apart. We're just buying time anyway. Let's do what we can. There isn't much to be done about the wars. We should reinforce weak structures. The ground will tremble and there's a risk everything will cave in on us, especially downstairs. Here, here, and there. Let's get the servants working on it. Stops, you'll have to start over. 
Isn't all this a bit excessive? You can never be too careful, that That was gonna happen. Love of God. Possibilities for, um, oh my god, what is it called? Tinder and stuff to show up. What was that? I, it wasn't even. I, earlier, I was like actually under it. This time, I wasn't even under it. Wait, what is it talking about? Okay, let's get the light going. I got tender to spare. See, there's two tender boxes this time. Last time, I know there was only one tender box. I am curious, though, if this time there is, um, there is tinder or oil up here.
chest is going to burst. My God, Wilhelm, do something! Accept it. We're not getting out of here. How can you say that? Alexander, you piece of shit! Let us out of here! <laughs> Life last time, so. Is anyone there? No, no one's here. No one wants to help you. during three days in Alger in Al in Algiers. Salwa was finally arranged to take him across the Mediterranean Sea to Gibraltar. Having reached the British territory, it was just a matter of Well he made it back to the British. He made it back to Britain. Stop. And it burst. He sat down by the Kasba wall, gasping for a sweat poured from his forehead onto the sand. Belt ground. Thought it, there was like a specific, like order that had to go. In. I don't freaking remember. Just survive. That's all I'm doing is surviving. Whoa. Okay.
cloth smelled of desert and damp musk. The pieces lay scrambled on top. Too many of them, he thought. Or perhaps too few. Too few ones. Their voices were sliced in a haze of gun smoke. Creepy. It sure is dark in here. Yes, and there's a good reason for it. But you can light the lamp now if you wish. What's the reason for the darkness, that is? Stay close. Be careful not to stray. What's the reason? Why is it so dark? Pay attention, Dandel. It's important that you keep going straight and make sure not to stray. shot. Twenty second of June, eighteen thirty nine. It's been more than a month since my last entry. After the event inside the underground chamber in Algeria, Professor Herbert insisted I return to England. He said he didn't want to risk forfeiting the entire expedition lest I took a turn for the worse. An excessive decision, in retrospect. But I'm glad it turned out that way. I found my journal this morning in the haphazard collection of things brought home from Africa. Next to it lay the broken stone orb wrapped in cloth. I tried to assemble it, but couldn't. The pieces wouldn't fit together, as if they weren't from the same object. Could I have imagined it all? Was there ever a complete orb? No, there was not. I feel the need to continue this journal 
even though it was intended for my journey to Africa. This must be something very important. I just know it. I've taken it upon myself to piece the orb back together, but it's been more difficult than one might think. The pieces are behaving strangely. They seem to change color, shape, and texture, but ever so slightly. Yesterday, I took careful measurements and notated any significant markings. Today, I confirmed my suspicions. They were changing. I was terrified and rushed off to see the finest geologist in London, Sir William Smith. I approached the subject with care and we discussed how rocks change form. He told me about the nature of glass, how it eventually collapses on itself, like ice slowly melting over the course of centuries. Smith eased my mind a bit, but I can't escape the feeling that these shards have otherworldly properties. Otherworldly properties. to the surface, the dark Atlantic water smothered him as he struggled to make sense of the situation. Go! 
go the fuck away! I don't even know what this does! Well, something's on a timer. And I know the moment I leave. Something large brushes up against his leg and he felt himself being dragged along the current of the beast. He pushed himself above the surface. Help! He cried as the ocean swallowed him again.
the SS Hortensia glares <laughs> the warm yellow light in the setting sun. He turned his head to the calm motion reaching towards the coast of Portugal. gonna call it there for right now um please stay tuned i'm going for the next chapter of um amnesia <laughs> the dark descent guys i'm terrified um it was fun we're gonna continue doing it and we got a few more episodes to go okay uh thank you for joining um i appreciate everyone watching no 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 oh Sure, you want to exit to main menu and save your progress. Yes, guys, I almost cried again. Um, thank you for joining. Um, I'll be back later. Thanks.